Oops. <laughs> hey guys, so, um, I was kind of having this conversation with somebody in this group chat on Instagram that I'm in, and we were talking about just our psycho wolves and stuff, so, I, I don't know, I kind of decided to make a video telling you about every single one of my psychotic wolves, and... Um, I don't know if I'm going to go into depth with my psychotic dogs today, but I might do that in a later video. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and start with my, oh wait, by the way, I'm also going to be telling you how they're psycho and what they do as psychopaths. Um, I'm going to start with my very first ever psychotic wolf. The dog there was my first psycho, but... Ollie was my first psychotic wolf. So we're going to bring him down here and just talk a bit about him. Down here. It's like it's okay. There we go. Anyways, so let's just get started with Ollie. So when I made him, um, um, I had made him to be a just sort of a crazy wolf, not really too much of a psycho, just kind of a little bit insane, just a bit, you know, like a tiny little bit, you know. I also wanted him to be one of the ones to ride my tiny little skateboards, because I have two little skateboards that I got at Dollar Tree, and I don't know what to do with them. But then I was like, you know what, he's about to be a psychopath. And that was whenever I had created Moon, so I'm about to go into depth with Moon as well. And if you can go over there, that would be nice. Um, and at first they were just like best friends, okay? They were just best friends. And then, you know, kind of got that feeling to them where I wanted them to be more than friends, okay? And then that's how Ollie and Moon became gay, okay? Call me weird if you want to. Okay, that's how they became gay. I don't want to start with being crazy. Um, what's that Oh my goodness. Okay. So, now Ollie has developed a lot of different psychotic traits. For instance, he does have a, what's it called? Anxiety demon. And that would be Nightmare. Here. And... At first, Nightmare was going to be um, the anxiety demon of multiple ones of mine, but now he's just assigned to strictly, strictly for Ollie, you know? Okay. Um, and um, Ollie also has a hellhound um, side, where basically he can kind of turn into a creepy monster's hellhound. And I want to get more of these hellhounds. Originally, I had um, customized a snarling wolf to be his hellhound side, but yeah. Now I want to get more of these, and I want to paint over that the red arrows on their heads with black because my black is a lot darker than the black he already has on him, and it's, it's just a look cool, you know. Um. So yeah. That's about Ollie, and now we'll talk more about Moon. You already know about how he became to with to be with Ollie. Basically, Moon is very can be kind of obsessive, um, and by that I mean he um, just doesn't like anybody else to be around Ollie that much, and surprisingly, it just doesn't bother Ollie uh, at all because he's like that too a little bit. But he just doesn't like any other guys, I guess you could say, to be around Ollie at all. So, he's kind of got that sociopathic trait. And, yeah. So, that's all I could really say about Moon. Let's start them back up here. Okay, so now we're going to go with Zephani. Um, what to say about Zephani? Basically, she was my main sort of psychopath. Um, she's crazy on all kinds of different levels, you know? Main thing being, um, 
um, she just doesn't like, um, trying to, trying to think of what I'm trying to say. I cannot think of what I want to say about her. She doesn't like people, okay, or in this case, wolves. <laughs> Like, also, you know, her parents and stuff think that she's dead, and that's a whole nother story to tell, so we're not going to talk about that. And she hates her older brother, her oldest brother, and I think his name is Tyrant, or Tycoon, I don't remember which one's the oldest. Because <laughs> she has a bro an older brother named Tyrant, and an older brother named Tycoon, and I think Tyrant's the one that's the oldest, or it might be Tycoon, I just don't remember, okay? I don't know. Um, she doesn't like them because they're always so mean to her, and all she wants to do is lead the pack that her father leads, but, you know, she can't because he doesn't know that she's alive, and, you know, nobody would ever listen to her. I, I Anyways, so she basically just one day got completely sick of it and lost her sanity altogether and has killed over 200 wolves in her life, and she's only 17 as of now. Um, actually, in Hellbound, she's, like, 20-something, but, you know, she's, like, 17 in, um, the reality of this world. And that's really all I can say about her without spoiling too much of a series I plan to do. So, next, who's next? Okay, we'll do Asen. Even though, technically, I made Zevo before Asen and... Uh, Stuff and I, I just didn't feel like grabbing her just yet. Cause yeah, Asen. Okay, I kind of changed her from being a psychopath, and I changed her character a lot. Used to, she was a psychopath, much like her brother, but now I've kind of changed it to the way where she's not really a psycho. She's not too welcomed by the group of psycho wolves I have. She's just there because she ran away from home and had nowhere to go, and everybody in the psychotic group has a lot of respect for Ollie and Zephani, and Aloran really did not want her to be there, and they're kind of scared of him, but not too scared of him to where Zephani and Ollie didn't want um, Ollie's sister and Zephani's cousin to not have anywhere to go, um, so they just let her stay with them. She's not really a psycho anymore, but she used to be, yeah. So, next, we're gonna do Ziva. Ziva, when I made her, pretty much I made her the same, for the same reason I made Ollie, and, um, yeah, and then she just kind of became this psycho wolf, as well as Ollie did, and let me fix her thumbtack thingy. There we go. Um... Um, oh yeah, and for those that don't know, she's in the pack with the Whispering Forests, and Razor here and Anayu here are the alphas of that pack, and um, Ziva is the beta, so she's Razor's beta, and she actually has an obsession where she's like completely in love with him. And seriously wants to kill Anayu so bad because she knows that she'll have more of a chance to be with him if Anayu is dead. Because it would be either her or, um, this is just how my packs go, okay? I don't know how your guys' packs go with this, but anyways. Because it would be either her or, um, one of the headhunters to be the, um next um alpha female depending on if the headhunter's a boy or girl okay if it's a girl then yeah um but yeah so she kind of leaves the pack eventually and it's kind of a spoiler but not really and just joins Zeph and I and her group and yeah she's a sociopath okay psycho sociopath wolf that's completely obsessed with Razor, and if anything were to ever happen to Razor, um, she'd probably kill herself, just saying. Ha 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 ha, not trying to be weird or anything, yes I am. Um, so, who's next? Next we have... Who's next? Next, next. Oh yeah. 
Okay, we have these two, and I'm just gonna do them at the same time. Get out, get, stay, stay. We have these two, and this is Onyx, and this is Chimera. <laughs> um, basically, just as soon as I got them, I just kind of made them psychopaths. Her ca character was going to be a psychopath either way, but when I got her, she just got that psychotic look to me. Not because she's growling, just because she kind of has that psychotic look. Um... Don't really wish to say about them. I haven't really got their characters into depth too much. But I just know that they're gonna be psychos. But she was in Omega in the back of the Whisper Forest. Same pack as Eve is in. And she's not a part of the psychotic group Zephani is in. But um she is a psychopath. And yeah. Um so the next is who's next? Oh, here we have Slate, and Slate is a girl. She's kind of weird. Okay, like if you ever seen the animation, um, and if you haven't seen it, go watch it. Four Hounds of the Apocalypse. Oh, that was like I don't know, it's so fun to watch over and over again. Because uh, if you ever watch that, then you know the Yellow Wolf Famine or whatever. The one that eats all the dogs and stuff. She's kind of like her a little bit, except she doesn't eat the dogs, okay? But she does, she's really weird, and she kind of talks like her a little bit. And, um... She, uh... That's what I'm looking for. Oh yeah, so basically whenever she sees a fluffy dog, or something like that, or a fluffy wolf or whatever, she, um, she'll give it a different name from what its name actually is, like some kind of weird name, and then we'll call it her pet and drag it around on a leash, and if it refuses to be her pet, then she'll kill it, and then feed it to Aloran, who we are coming to next. And her and Aloran have a very deep relationship. Like, they're not together as of now, but I'm probably going to make them, like, mates in the future because they have the same level of psychoticness. And, yeah. I don't know. I really haven't decided yet. And that leads us to my psycho boy, Alaric. And follow him on Instagram, okay? It's called, his Instagram is psycho, okay, I'll put it in the description because I don't remember. It's like psycho... Boy Alaric, but boy spelled B O I because I can't do that with her because I can. And then, yeah. <sighs> Anyways, um, you guys saw the customizing video of him. He's so cool. I love him. This is his dad. Look at his dad. His dad's not as much of a psycho as him, but he can be kind of crazy, but he's not really in this video because he's not really a psychopath. He's just kind of crazy at times. He's not at all. Oh, oh, sorry. He's not at all proud of what his son has become. But basically, Aloran was very mistreated as a pup. Like, not by his dad or anything. His dad was never really around too much. Um, he was always at work or something. And, um... He, um... Yeah, basically was just not around at all too much. And... His mom used to hit him all the time, though, because his mom was the only one around until eventually. Well, we're not going to talk about what happened to his mom because that's a spoiler for Cult of High School. Yes, that's right. He's going to be in Cult of High School because he can be. Um. Sorry. He, um. But yeah, so now he goes around and he kills little pups, not to freak out anybody, okay? He kills pups and um, will occasionally eat them. Not occasionally, okay, because he does. He's not just going to kill them for fun. But yeah, his most prioritized meal is doggo pups. And by doggo, I mean like dogs, okay, dogs. And um, yeah. I don't know, I think I have more 
I have more wolf pups than dog pups. But if I didn't customize those, some of those to be wolves, I would have more dogs. Sorry, that didn't matter at all in this. Um, but anyways, let's just get back to Alaron here. He is probably one of my, whoops, he's probably one of my favorites. Him and Zeph and I and Ollie and Ziva and I can't choose between any of them. I mean, he'd definitely be on the list as one of my top three. So it would probably be him, then Zeph and I, then Ollie if I chose between them all. Okay, sorry Zeph and I, but yeah. So basically though, that's kind of all I can really say without spoiling Cult of High School too much. But he is kind of a serial killer now and has absolutely no sanity, no soul, and no heart at all. He doesn't care about really anything and except for eventually Slate if I decide to make them be mates and stuff. And then they'll be like psycho on a whole nother level. And then they'll probably never have kids if I do make them mates because like Aloran will probably try to eat them. Just saying. But that's okay because Slate doesn't want kids anyways, and neither does Aloran. So basically, anybody that Slate has made her pet will be their kid, okay? No, I'm kidding. It'll be their pet because they're crazy, okay? Okay. Anyways, that's really all for this video. All I can say about all of my psycho boys and girls and stuff. If you guys want me to do one with my psychotic dogs, I will. I don't have very many psychotic dogs. But there's Coda, Soot, there's somebody else, what's their face, these two are kind of psycho, um, then, uh, um, um, hmm, who else is there, oh, there's this guy that I'm probably gonna make be a psycho, well, Doberman, not Doberman, Rot Roller, right, right, here's the new custom you, that you didn't see. Okay, just point to him because you probably think I'm talking about that one, but that's not even a doggo, it's a wolf. This one. Okay. Anyways. Oh, by the way, you're probably wondering why Skinwalker and Alistair were in this. They're not really psychos, they're just. They're not really psychos. Anyways, that's all for this video. So, thank you for watching. Bye. Oops.